YouTube, what is the deal, man? It's your boy Vaughn, back with another episode of Vaughn's Closet, or should I say vlogging with Vaughn, Vaughn's vlogging, <laughs> Vaughn's vlogging, whatever you want to call it, man. But it's your boy Vaughn, out here in these Atlanta streets, I'm about to make my way over to ThriftCon Atlanta, and I mean ThriftCon is in the A this weekend, and uh, I'm about to link up with the homies, do some thrifting, show you the ThriftCon, and uh, yeah, like I said, first vlog of the year, should be dope. Dope event, first event of the year, but uh, yeah, let's get it. Vlogging with Vaughn, Thriftcon, let's get it. I'm gonna see y'all in a second. Hey, let me see the front. Yeah, that shit is hard. It's clean too. Oh, that's yeah, clean as shit. It's clean as fuck. And it's an XL. This is mean. Yeah, this shit is mean. You don't want to ask This shit is mean. Nah, I'm cool. But That shit crazy. Similar one on. And this shit is an AMG. This shit is crazy. This is my Wednesday car. You can keep that shit, that shit is trash. You're not gonna grab it? They didn't put him with the shotgun on here though. Yeah, they did. They did. <laughs> That's actually crazy. That is cool. Yeah, these shoes is hard. <laughs> yo, you know who else makes? Yo, you know who else got tees like this? They need a little space. Twenty. Seventy. Oh, seventy, seventy. A Thanos tee? Hey, hey, Bob. Is Iron Man? Just, just bite. What do you say? Just bite. Just bite. Oh, bite it. oh wow. <laughs> the punish. Yeah, real meal, holy fit. Yeah, yeah. That's actually a classic thing. Though. I wish some of these was black. You know who else makes these like this? The dude I got my duffel bag from. That polo duffel bag I got, oh, yeah. I got it from Sneaker Exit. He had tees like this at his booth, and he makes them. They go. He's okay. 
Yes, yeah, that joint's all right. All right, as you can see, this is like a week and a half after the fact. Uh, ThriftCon was dope though. I didn't really like vlog too much because it was it was a lot going on in there. It was kind of overwhelming. Uh, I'm not the biggest thrifter in the world, so being in there and trying to thrift and go to every booth and sift through all the t-shirts on the clothes, it was a lot. I'm gonna be honest. So I didn't really get any much on camera vlogging. It was more so just me going to different booths and showing what I saw that I thought was dope um, and showing the homies and everything like that. So I didn't really do so much vlogging. Um, so that's why one is that's why one this video is taking so long to drop, and two why you don't really see me on camera too much. But I did have some pickups. I got three pieces. And I'm gonna show you those right now. All right. So the first piece, um, the first two pieces actually are reprints. The original versions of these tees that came out in the 80s slash early 90s go for bands. So I'm letting you know that right now. They are not original prints. If they were. I would probably be out of an apartment right now because these t-shirts go for thousands of dollars. I'll post them right here from Grail so you can see what I'm talking about, especially the second t-shirt I'm about to show you. But the first one, fire t-shirt, um, I get a reprint t-shirt. There's this right here. <clears throat> fire, 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 I get a t-shirt. Super fire. And yes, I'm saying Akira because if you watch the movie, that's how he pronounces it. It's not Akira, which is the American way. It's Akira. Um, so that's why I'm pronouncing it that way. Um, shout out to Kanye. If you know Kanye, if you saw the Donda Live, um, the Donda Live show in Atlanta. His all red suit was based off uh, Kanye, the homie you see on the front right here. His all red ensemble with the all red, uh, all red orange Adidas was based off this guy right here, Kanye, who was. Essentially, one of the main characters in the movie Akira. Um, Akira is one of the, to me, probably probably like the hardest anime movie of all time, just as far as like the message behind it, and just the, like the superficial and sci-fi um, stuff behind it as well, and just the high level of consciousness. It's just a, it's just so it, it, it checks so many boxes for me. Um, that's why I think it's such it's one of the illest movies of all time, and one of the easily probably if not the illest anime movie of all time. But um, Shout out to this Akita reprint t-shirt. Super duper fire. Um, yeah. The second tee. This is the one that I saw on Grail. Like, if you just go on Grail and type in vintage Akita t-shirts, this one shows up. And the one post in particular I saw, this shirt was going, this one in particular was going for $2,800. 2.8K. $2,800 for this t-shirt in original form from 1988. Um... Is that the right? Yeah, that's when the movie originally came out. But this TV, this TV, this T-shirt right here, if you've ever seen this T-shirt, you've probably seen a lot of reprints from it because uh, it's, it's a famous T-shirt from the 80s but from the movie. But uh, like I said, the original version of this shirt goes for $2,000, which is fucking ridiculous for a T-shirt. But that's what it goes for. Um, I wore this one already. Got a couple compliments on it while I had it on because this is it's just even if it's a reprint, it's just a fire T-shirt. You know what I mean? Um, and I think it's dope because the people that were selling them were of Asian descent, so it's even more fire um, that they are just paying homage to essentially one of the illest movies from their culture. So super duper fire T-shirt, and it's even crazier that I think I, this was I just this was actually gifted to me to be honest with you. Shout out to my homie Tay, um, he saw this joint. I was in a couple booths over. He had walked over to this one, saw this t-shirt, and he bought it for the homie. You know what I mean? So he bought it for me because he knew how much I fuck with this movie. So he actually paid uh, for it for me. Granted, it was only $35, but the gesture alone, shout out to my nigga Tay. Much obliged, my brother, much obliged. But um, yeah, so I got this Akita t-shirt and the one I just showed you. And uh, I'll post the Instagrams of these uh, where I got these t-shirts as well, both owners of these companies are really really dope dudes um the last t-shirt i'm about to show you the the polo duffel i got in this picture right here i actually got from his booth at sneaker exit um so this dude right here is really really dope and again i'll post their instagrams uh respectfully um before or after i show you t-shirts but um yeah this last t-shirt right here though man i don't know if these are reprints from like t-shirts that used to come out in the 80s or 90s but 
regardless this t-shirt right here is so fire and this whole all over print design I mean, you can probably kind of see it right now i didn't realize it was that in, in the camera but I let, me, let me just show you this t-shirt and stop talking about it i didn't even realize y'all could see it this silver surfer t-shirt is absolutely crazy absolutely crazy see how it says silver surfer right there on the bottom you think the back is crazy then you flip it over I mean, they, you think the front screen, then you flip it over to the back and see the Silver Surfer in the galaxy with my man Galactus flying or in the background as Silver Surfer is flying through space. Bro, this is probably one of the hardest t-shirts I own. And as you saw in the clips, Tay and Trisha were showing you some of the other t-shirts they had in the booth. They had the Punisher one, the Spider-Man and Venom one. Um... I don't think I showed it. If I could find the clip on my Instagram, I'll post it in this video, but they had this Magneto t-shirt. Whoa. I'll post an Instagram picture of it right here. Uh, the Magneto t-shirt is crazy. Um, they had this Spider-Man and uh, Green Goblin t-shirt. Crazy. Yo, these two dudes right here, I don't know where they get their t-shirts made or who started this trend and making t-shirts like this, but these joints are, this screen printing job is crazy and it's fire. Like, just look at the detail in this joint. But yeah, those are the three t-shirts I picked up. Uh, two Akita t-shirts, one Fire Silver Surfer t-shirt. Um, yeah, I think I may have spent, and Tay got me the one t-shirt. The other Akita t-shirt, I think I also spent $35 on. And I think I spent $70 on the Silver Surfer t-shirt. So, one event, $100 spent. Um, bars, low-key. But, um... Yeah, I think it was some dope pickups. There was a lot of other like vintage, vintage stuff in there, like legit vintage stuff in there that was fired. But I was balling on a super budget, so I didn't really do too much damage at all. I mean, hundred dollars is hundred dollars, especially for two t-shirts. But um, it was a lot, a lot more damage definitely could have been done if the bag was, you know, what I mean, was there where it needed to be. But hey, we back working. Finally got a new job. Like I said in one of my past videos. So um, hopefully. I'll be able to get this channel moving because honestly, I can't really do what I want with this channel if I don't have the funds to do so. So that's also part of the reason why um, videos might be sporadic or I might be showing you a bunch of the same stuff over and over again just in different ways is because I can't really make this channel and make it fire how I want it to if I can't purchase new items and purchasing new items costs bread. So if money is tight, that kind of affects the channel content, but that's neither here nor there. More so here than it is there. But um yeah, so that's ThriftCon. Those are my pickups from ThriftCon a week later. Um, thanks you guys for tapping in and tuning in. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel grow, it helps me get seen by more people. And uh like, comment, share the video, and uh stay tuned, man. More videos coming soon, especially this summer. A lot of a lot of events I'm hitting between now and the end of the year and a lot of in the summer. Sneaker exit coming up, Atlanta Street World Market, parts one, two, and three um and plenty plenty more so follow me on instagram here or there so you can stay in tune for real for real so you can see where i'm at when i'm going and if you're in atlanta hit me up you know what i mean let's link um it's all love over here but uh enough talking i'm gonna end the video follow me on instagram subscribe comment down below stay tuned uh, i got another video dropping later this week uh with some hat club unboxings you're probably gonna see me in this same fit because i'm about to record it right after this but uh Without further ado, peace and love always. Y'all know the drill. I'm going to holla at y'all.